How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody's having a good day. I uh, just want to shoot a short video today on um, scraping reef tank glass because I actually had a subscriber reach out to me who I suspect is a new reef keeper because he asked, hey, how do I stop scratching my glass while I am trying to clean it? And I was kind of busy and on the go that day and I shot him back a note saying, hey, I'd make this video. I should have asked like, you know, more particulars on the situation, but I didn't. I'm guessing that this is what's happening to him. So this right here is a just like standard flipper scraper, right? And I think this is probably what most of us use to clean the glass on our reef tanks on like a, at least a day-to-day -day basis. You know, eventually you gotta get out the metal scraper, but I'm guessing this is what he's doing. I think that what's happening is he is scraping, you know, like, like flat against the sand to get this gunk at the bottom. And you can see as I push the scraper, see the, how it just jumped like that? That's because sand is starting to work its way underneath the corner. And I know it's desirable to try to get, you don't, this is not fun. Like nobody wants that, especially if you're like OCD about cleaning your, your tank glass. However, I have devised kind of a, you know, and again, to experienced reef keepers, they'll probably they'll probably chuckle at me making a video about this, but people need help with certain things. So um, you can see here, a little piece of sand got caught. Let me show you real quick before I show you a method for helping this not to happen. Um, what I do when a piece of sand does get caught, I just loosen my, like this magnet a little bit, like I lift it a little bit, and then I just kind of shake shake it and the sand falls out like it just did. So that's a way that you can, and of course you can always check, you can just lift this and see if there are any big grains of sand underneath there. Because those grains of sand, when they get caught and you start dragging this across the glass, as crazy as it seems, because these tanks cost hundreds, thousands of dollars, it sand can scratch your glass when it's getting pinched like that. So to avoid it happening, or to reduce the amount of like shaking of your magnet that you have to do as you're cleaning, I kind of do this. I, when I get down close to the sand bed, I tip it so it's at an angle and I only let the back corner of the magnet drag along this ugly spot at the bottom. I'm a little bit lazy about the bottom. I don't really care about this like film at the bottom, um, but this is kind of how it goes. And you can see it's not picking up sand this way. So that's what I do to just kind of keep the bottom from getting crazy. But yeah, guys, um, be checking after you do the bottom before you start coming up high and, you know, doing Mr. Miyagi on your glass up here. You need to make sure that you're not picking up grains of sand and then literally just ripping them across your glass. It will cause scratches. All, all experienced reef keepers have gone through the agony of looking at where you just, you know, scraped your glass and you're like, oh no, <laughs> I have a grain of sand in there. And I will say additionally, if it's something like this, like a metal scraper that he's using, my guess would be that as he's coming down on the bottom, he's going down a little bit farther, like to get this crud at the bottom. And there's grains of sand that are falling like along the interior side of that uh, blade. And then he's scraping up and pulling pieces of sand, even with a metal scraper, up the glass. And even that will cause micro abrasion. So I know guys, the tanks feel like they cost too much money for this kind of stuff to be happening. It's frustrating. And I, I know people who've been in the hobby for a while probably didn't have much need for this video, but for new reef keepers, I just wanted to put out a video saying, hey, you know, <laughs> as somebody who has experienced the agony before, here's kind of what you can do to reduce the amount of times that you do this. And here's kind of a, a little trick that I do to kind of just scrape the bottom without, you know, ripping the bottom up even, you know, too much. I just tilt that magnet and drag it slow. So, all right, guys, um, hope everybody has a great weekend. Have a good one.